So I just received my Full Star Onion and Vegetable Chopper Plus. Got it today. I thought I would share an unboxing video with you. This slicer that can peel and julienne. A couple different cleaning devices. Egg chopper. Shredder. Juicer. Egg separator. Mandolin slicer. Got your fine dicer and your medium dicer. This here is a julienne insert. You got two types of spiralizers here. One is a julienne and this is a ribbon spiralizer. Once you get your desired slicer in place, you can lock it in. So it's stuck in there good. And you're ready to start chopping. So another season of outdoor gardening has come to an end and it's time to try and preserve all those vegetables that you grew in the garden. And I like to do things as easy as possible. I usually just freeze most of the vegetables that I try to preserve. And I'm hoping that my full star chopper system here is gonna help make uh, light work of that. So first thing we're gonna try out today is some green peppers. I'm using the small dicer here, the small size squares. Just gonna lock it in. See how many you can fit on here. Chopped super fast. There you go. Green peppers are chopped up and ready to freeze. Like to spread them out as flat as you can. Set them in your freezer so that they don't kind of freeze in large clumps. Seal it up. Whenever you're doing some cooking, just grab a handful of green peppers and add them in. Okay, now we're gonna try some of my onions here. I'm using the larger chopper here that's got the, the bigger cube size just because I like a little bit bigger chunk of onion. So once you've got your onions peeled and cut in half, see how many you can fit at once. In about 30 seconds, you got a whole pile of chopped up onions ready for the freezer. And I didn't even shed a tear. So now I'm going to test out the mandolin feature here and test it out on some more of my onions. They do supply this safety glove, which I highly recommend using because uh, these are super, super sharp and sometimes you just get cut in a way and get a little too close and it can be very, very bad. So I'm going to try this holder thing that they provide. Put your onion on there. And we'll see how it works. So here's how they look, which is a nice thin size here if you want to fry them up with burgers or just have that larger pieces of onion sometimes you prefer that over the chop sizes i think this is another great way to preserve your onions there you go three onions sliced up ready to freeze so before bagging them up in a smaller size freezer bag i'm going to spread them out as thin as i can on some parchment paper throw it in the freezer for 12 or 24 hours so that they aren't all clumped together and frozen together. And then I will bag them up into my freezer bag. So this is the julienne blade here. We're just gonna see how that looks with uh, using a carrot. Definitely wanna be wearing these gloves.
there's your julienne carrots so you could also freeze these just to put into soups and stews if you want to preserve carrots over the winter this will work as well so let's check out the uh, ribbon slicer here with a cucumber i'm sure everybody has got tons of cucumbers left this is the way you can cut them up and make a nice salad let's see how that looks Is what the ribbon looks like. I think you probably want to chop it up a little bit. That works great for cucumbers and zucchini. So this is the the spiralizer that would be great for zucchini because you can make zoodles with zucchini. I don't have any today so we'll just try it out with the cucumber just to kind of see what those zoodles look like. So you can see kind of the seeds get left behind, which is good. And there's your zoodles. So I definitely will be using this to make some zucchini zoodles. So I also did some potatoes here the other day, fresh from the garden, chopped up a whole bunch to make a casserole using the large chopping blade here and had a bunch of extras. So now I have a frozen batch of hash browns ready to cook in the future. So it works great on potatoes as well. If you want to cut them up for soups or stews right away or freeze them, either way, highly recommend using the chopper for that. So this is just a few things that you can do with your full star chopper. The one I have has a lot more features to it that I have yet to try out, but this is a great tool to have for fall uh, harvesting and preserving a lot of your uh, vegetables from the garden or if you happen to go to the store and get a sale on say peppers, onions, green onions, potatoes, something that uh, you want to preserve that you can't eat all at once, chop it up, freeze it and you're good. Uh, you have a good supply in your freezer for the future. So these are dishwasher safe if you put them in the top rack or hand wash them in warm soapy water. So I'll leave a link to the Full Star Chopper in the description box below. They have a lot of different models, some with not as many attachments as what I have here. I find they're a lot easier to store in some kind of a Rubbermaid or plastic tub like this. So hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching.